Hey everyone, I'm back with another tutorial and this time we are going to create a Apple watch using simple curve circle and solidify modifier. So let's get started by pressing shift plus A and select cube to place it. Now go to edit mode by pressing tab. Press S and Z to scale it along Z axis. Now go to top view and scale it along y axis now in edit mode press 2 so select the corner edges like this select all four corner edges and press ctrl b to apply bevel modifier drag the mouse to increase segments so we are going to have rounded corners like this now we are going to select all top edges and bottom edges hold shift and alt while selecting one edge it will select all remaining edges at a time and press ctrl b to apply bevel now to change from select box mode to select circle mode press w until you see circle along with your cursor now press 3 to choose face select and hold shift while selecting faces. Now right click on the selection and go to separate and select selection now the selection has been separated from the cube you can see the new layer in the layer panel so I am renaming the layers right now now hide the top one now select the remaining one apply solidify modifier and set the offset to 0 and increase the thickness just little bit it's up to you how much you want to choose I am going with 0 0.04 now unhide the remaining one and select both cubes apply subdivision modifier by pressing ctrl 4 so you could get smooth and nice surface like this you can see right now so I'm gonna do small changes increasing size a little bit and adjusting along the axis so hide the cubes now press shift a under curve menu select simple circle see I'm not selecting top bezier circle so I'm selecting simple curve circle and after placing it it you would get object data properties in the right side panel so go to that section and do the following so go to geometry before that change the fill mode to none and increase the depth so 0 0.05 or 0 0.6 now increase extrude value also now go to active spline so under that section unselect the cyclic Now go to top view and rotate it along x axis. Press R and X and 90 to rotate it along x axis. Now press R Y 45 to rotate the circle along y axis 45 degrees. Do it two times so you can get 90 degrees rotation. You can rotate manually by pressing R and Y. now unhide the cubes and select the circle i mean watch strap so and press s to scale it 
So keep doing these changes. Press S to scale and press G to move it along any axis you want. Press G and Z to move it along Z axis. So far it's looking good. So now go to scene settings and change the resolution along X to 1080. Now select camera and go to camera settings. Change the camera type to orthographic and shift it along Y axis. Now select both cubes and circle and move it along Z axis by pressing G and Z and rotate them along y axis press r and y now let's apply materials select the cube and select new material rename it to watch and select the base color so i'm gonna select black like matte black so in order to get matte look Increase the roughness to 0 0.7 or 0 0.8 and select the top cube. So rename the material and I'm not gonna set any roughness to it as I want to give you a smooth, pure, shiny look. Select the circle now. I mean watch strap. Click new material and rename it and increase the roughness to 1. So it will have matte look and select the base color now we are going to add a plane and scale it by pressing S and give new material to the plane also rename the material and select the base color now go to render preview, select the light and move it along the axis. I want to change the plane base color so I am gonna select something closer to bright red. So now go to light settings. As you can see I am experimenting with the light values. You can experiment with the light settings. Keep practicing it and it totally depends upon your creative choice. Now I am going to top you and press shift D to duplicate the light and move it along any axis you want. Press G to move it. Now I have placed one light above the watch and other one far away from it. To create similar kind of light around the watch and acts as secondary light. You keep experimenting with both light values until you feel certain about the scene atmosphere you know and keep adjusting the light positions also i mean you can change the position by pressing g and move them along x axis or y axis or z axis so if you want to follow same light settings as my render here just follow what i am doing right now and try to copy it exactly So I'm gonna select both cubes and increase it along Y axis. I mean scaling it along Y axis. Now I have completed my scene and let's render the model to see how it looks. I think right now render engine is easy. Let's change it to cycles.
so after selecting cycles engine let's enable adaptive sampling and under denoising select render and viewport also right now i'm gonna do some more changes like small changes here and there if you want to follow just try to copy it exactly So now let's render the scene. I think this is it for now. If you want, you can experiment little more with material colors and light settings. You know, you can do lot more things. And later for this image, I increased color range and sharpness to the final render image. And I really hope you learned how to use Simple Circle and how to use Solidify modifier. And I hope this tutorial helped you a lot. So if you like this one, please share this video and subscribe to my channel because I'll be posting more videos on Blender. So that's it for now I guess. I'll be back with another interesting tutorial. I promise. I'll see you in the next one.